Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about float and double data types in Java. In our last class, we clearly discussed about uh, int and long double data types. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, so float and double, these do, two data types are used to store floating point numbers. What's floating point numbers means? Decimal numbers, we call it as floating point numbers. 99.8. If you have decimal value, we call it as floating point numbers. If you want to store floating point numbers in your memory, in the random access memory, we have to take these two data types. Any one of the data type is used to store the floating point numbers. Now coming to, now you have to understand what is the difference between these two. Float is going to take 32 bit, mean, means 4 bytes of memory space. Similarly, double is going to take 64 bits, means 8 bytes of data space. Means if you want to store la large size decimal values, we have to go with the double. Small size decimal values, decimal points, decimal numbers, uh, uh, floating point numbers, we go with the float and one more difference you have to understand in our last class we discussed that our computer is not going to understand decimal numbers see if you take this example float a is equal to 10.1234567891 these are decimal numbers these are decimal values our computer is not able to store these decimal values it is going to store only binary digits so what's the conversion formats it is going to use if you are given this floating point number this number should be converted into binary number so what format it is going to be converted what is the standard there are some standards to convert this floating point numbers into binary numbers what such standards are IEEE 754 single precision this is one standard float is going to use this standard Similarly, double is going to use IEEE 754 double precision standard. So, what's the standards? How the conversion will be? How this? What is the minimum number that we are going to store in this uh, 32 bit? And what is the maximum number we are going to store? All these are out of scope here in this syllabus in Java. If you are really interested to learn how this decimal, uh, floating point numbers are converted into uh, binary digits. Uh, so please take our playlist computer organization and architecture playlist there we are going to explain this IEEE single precision double precision formats to store the values. So now coming to the next uh, uh, how to define a floating point variable and assign a value to that uh, and how to display that uh, float a is equal to 10.1234567891 f at the end you have to place f. Java compiler is going to understand only if you place F then only it will consider this number this converted into floating point number floating point number means it is going to use a IEEE 754 single precision it is going to use this conversion and convert this into floating point number if you forget to place F by default it is going to take it as double which is not suitable type here so that's why if you want to convert this into floating point number at last you have to place f so we defined a variable a is of type float and this is the value we need to store but what happens let's try to understand system.out.println of a we are going to display a it is going to display 10.123457 it is going to display only the six digits in the floating point uh, data type uh, we are going after decimal point we are going to consider only six decimal six digits only six positions after decimal point we can in the in the float we are going to able to store only the six positions in some, some systems it is going to take seven positions so if you want more accurate uh, values after decimal point uh, then we have to go with the double double is going to take more number of positions after decimal point more number of positions more accurate this is basic simple mathematics of decimal points floating points 
so float a is equal to 10.1 at the end we did not mention the f means by default it is going to convert it into double double means which format it is going to convert 754 double precision so that's why you have to mention f at the last now coming to the double data type double is going to take a see double b is equal to 10.1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so on after decimal point it is going to take 15 digits in some systems it is going to take 16 digits so 15 or 16 digits so that's the only difference we have to understand when to use double and when to use floating point data type hope you understand what's floating point and double data types if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.